I joined up, rather than wait to be drafted. I figured if I was gonna have to fight, it would be better fighting alongside the best there was. And that's why I joined the Marines. They sent us to North Carolina, some farm place that they'd turn into a training camp. Second Division U.S. Marine Corps. <laughs> some soldier I was gonna be. Our first day in camp, and I forgot my rifle. Hey, Mac, what's the scuttlebutt on the new honcho? I hear the bastard's tough as nails. Great, another AJ squared away. Stow it, here he comes. Here are the new recruits, Sergeant Roebuck. Ten hunt! Okay, let's see what we've got. Sound off. Turner. Aye, aye, sir. Polanski. Aye, sir. Miller. Where is your weapon, Marine? Get over to that table and pick up a rifle, Miller. Double time. Miller! Okay, Miller, shoot the helmets off. Remember, anyone can point and shoot, but if you want to ship... All right, Marine, move to the close quarters range. Follow me. You're up first, Miller. Pick up a Thompson from the table. Okay, on three, I want you to move through these stables and take out the targets. One, two, three, go, go, go! Not too shabby, Miller. We might make you a warrior yet. Okay, let's see how you handle grenades. Go grab some from the... See that window on the ground floor? Toss a frag grenade through it. And now another. Smoke grenades next. You'll use them to conceal your movements on the battlefield. Okay, that covers grenades. Now follow me to the assault course. Okay, time to recap. Some basic combat maneuvers. Just like in TBS. Miller, you with them and get a move on, Miller! Under the net, through the obstacles. Go! Go! I think I'm letting you off and forgetting your rifle, Miller. One lap around the hill. I'll be waiting at the end. Stop flailing around, will ya? Hey, Fletch, I think this one's drowning. Grab him! We thought we were gonna win the war all by ourselves. We were wrong. I want suppressing fire on that hill. Someone get Miller out of that mud. Come on, buddy, we got you covered. Anderson, I want some flame on that bunker. Get up that hill and get on it. Miller, you go with him. We've got no cover. Use the smoke grenades. Polanski, get the smoke up there. Anderson, Miller, the smoke kit. Find cover near the top. Keep moving, Marines, get up there.
Miller, take out the mortar crew. Get us out of there! Oh. Oh. I got a tunnel down here. Anderson, burn it out. Everyone stay back. Nice work. Anderson, go and check it out. Tripwire! Yeah. Oh. Anderson, damn it. Miller, pick up the place door. Get in there, Marines. Go, go, go! Polanski, take care of that room. No! No! Get All in! clear! No! Get your head down! Take covering positions! The pass is over there! Get in there, move it!
Tokyo Express out of action. Guadalcanal was just the beginning. Next up was BDO, the next link in the chain that led all the way to Japan. It had taken six months to seize Guadalcanal. BDO would have to fall a lot quicker than that. They made it sound easy, telling us the island wasn't even the size of Central Park. I'd never been to New York, but I'm sure the park there didn't have a couple of thousand Japanese troops dug into hundreds of hidden pillbox bunkers. on this beach head on the double. This fight is gonna be over before it starts. Miller, you take point. Okay, mount out. Machine guns, take ah. cover! Looks like they dug it pretty tight. Ah. The artillery must be close. Move! Ah. Get ah. down here, Sergeant. We're stuck! The hell we are, Marine! On me, Hunter! Call in CAS to take out that net. Aye, sir. Tango clock drop. Tango clock drop. Baker Charlie requesting airstrike. Rich Square 3 hotel. Roger that. Target in sight. Hold your position. Okay, Marines, hold up. We'll wait for air support. Tango clock drop on approach and closing. Hit the deck, boys. We're coming in low and fast. Okay, Marines, how do you move over? Move up to that bunker. Let's go! That's what I call close air support! Hold up. Polanski, Miller, make sure this bunker is clear. Good 
work, Marines. Artillery sounds like it's just up ahead. Listen up, we're gonna have to clear both these buildings. Split up and get to it. Ah! Squad! Regroup on me. We gotta find a way to get a charge on that gun. Use the trench for cover. to lead to that gun. Polonsky, Miller, get in there and get a charge on that thing. Miller, set the freaking charge so we can get the hell out of here already. Let's get out of here and blow this thing. One to go. Let's keep moving. Heads up! More enemy incoming. Get the cover! Up ahead. Sergeant wants us back topside. On, Miller, get the lead out. Good work, Marines. Japanese forces are retreating inland. Miller, you do the honor. 
Red Beach 3 is now clear. Carry on, Marines. Sometimes it felt like the whole damn thing was about airfields. We captured islands to get the airfields on them. From the airfields, we could launch heavy bombers to soften up the next island in the chain. BDO was no different. There was an airfield there, and we needed it. And the Japanese needed to stop us. The Japanese general in command said it would take a million men a hundred years to take his island. We were only a single Marine division, and we'd been given three days to get the job done. Sergeant Robot, ain't we supposed to be taking the airfield? Yeah, well, the airfield's over there. We're pinned down here. You got any ideas how we're gonna get past the Japanese? And I'm listening. I say we just give him Miller. That'll make him surrender for sure. Polanski, <laughs> one more crack from you. And... Look, someone's going for that bunker. The guy's gotta be out of his mind. Who the hell is he? Whoever he is, he needs covering fire. Get on him! From that building, get in there. He opened up a hole for us. Don't let it go to waste. Keep moving. Double time. We've got more enemy in those ruins. They got us. Oh. Take cover. Great. You may be pinned down again. Get off oh. me. Oh. Bunker. Pretty soon they're gonna be crawling all over us. We gotta get out of here, Sergeant. I need fast. Get that bazooka up here. Cover it. Okay, let's move on. Wow, look at that! Same old fly boys, as far above the rough stuff as they can get. Japanese assault! Yeah. Helmet headed straight for us! Across the runway. Move, Marines! Outstanding! Now take that trench up ahead! Hey, Marines, what do you say we give those guys a fighting chance? Time to take out those guns. Mount out. You all know the drill. Clear out those trenches and get to those AA guns. Keep on going. Hear those AA guns? That's our objective. Miller, there's a gun up ahead. We'll cover you. Take out the crew. Machine gun nest. They got that double A covered nine ways to Sunday. Miller. Now let's see about doing the same to the next one. Ah. Ah. Same oh. drill. Clear the trench. 
Find the gun. Do not stop! We do our job so those birds can do theirs. Boys owe us one. Carter, Sergeant Roebuck, the battalion says there's an enemy radar station near our position that's coordinating their air defense. They want us to take it out. All right, Marines. Still ain't earned our paychecks today, I guess. Up ahead, at the radar station. Looks like the place. We gotta get inside and shut the radar down. Here they come! Don't let them set up defensive positions. Move forward. Close the gap. That's it! Keep at them! More of them coming out! Up there! Japanese gunmen on the roof! Right, Miller! Take care of them! Find the radar equipment and destroy it. Good work, Miller. Those enemy fighters will be flying blind now. Sergeant, just heard the 8th on the radio. Their guys have located the enemy HQ up ahead. Well, we gotta go bail out the 8th now? Who next, my mother in Queens? Let's move out. Semper Fi. We got incoming. Japanese armor heading this way. Carter, get on the radio. Time to call in that paper from the Air Corps. Guess they want their radar station back. All we're giving them is a kick in the teeth. Let them have it, Marines. God! Carter, where's that damn air support? Here they come. Just in time. Hit the deck. Get to that revetment on the other side of the runway. Move it! Hold your fire! Those are friendlies from the 8th! Word is you boys found the enemy HQ. Yes, sir. But enemy machine gun fire's got it locked up tight. We can't get to it. Some of us tried and got pinned down up ahead. Is that right? What do you say we move up together and take a peek?
enemies coming out of that building. Don't stop. Push right through. on the roof. This way, Miller. Good work, Pulaski. Hey, don't look at me, sir. Hang Miller here. Guy's turning into a real tiger. We've got enemy infantry! Ah, hell! That counterattack didn't take long. Carter! Get on the radio! Aye, aye, sir! Already on it! The boy's coming, Marines! Just gotta hold out until it gets here. will chew right through the Japanese tanks. I ain't never been so happy to see those damn doggies. It's battalion, Sergeant. They say enemy resistance on video is finished. The island's ours. All right, Marines, we got one, but don't kick up your feet yet. We still got plenty more to go. This fight is far from over. We were getting closer to Japan. The closer we got, the more determined the Japanese were to stop us, and the more ferocious the fighting was going to get. Saipan, one of the Marianas Islands, was the next link in the chain. 
They were ready for us after we landed, pushing us back almost to the sea. But we dug in and stayed put, waiting for the Japanese to make their move. We wouldn't have to wait long. To protect Japan, they had to drive us back off Saipan. Sight's just over these dudes, Sergeant. Enemy mortars took out most of our men! Some of them made it through into the boat, mortar fire finally slacked off! But those goddamn MCs have got the whole beach covered! And we can't get near them! We gotta take out that MC bunker. Run the cover and work your way up. Try to get close. Okay, stay in cover. Flight oh. the bunker all the way Miller, grab that bazooka and use it on that bunker. Better hope the hell is around in it. Keep moving. 
through the bunker. We need to reach that line. Positioned at the line, but we need more men. U.S. Navy. Hold the line! Shells here. What now, Sergeant? Now, Polanski, we take that mountain. You gotta be kidding me, sir. We took back the beachheads, but the Japanese didn't budge easy. We had to dig them out of every foxhole, bunker, and concealed gun emplacement across every inch of that island. 
Even then, we weren't through. The enemy still held the summit of Mount Tapachau. They were dug in tight up there, defending artillery emplacements that had ranged in on our positions. Somehow, those guns had to be silenced. That's when we found out you don't always have to descend into hell. Nope. Sometimes to get to hell, you start climbing. Rest up here for a moment. I tell you, boys, the Japanese want this mountain so bad, they can have it. Okay? It's just a whole mess of stinking jungle and... Son of a... Bugs. They deserve each other. Quit your belly aching, Kowalski. We got our orders. The enemy's dug in across this whole damn mountain. Hell, they didn't go up there and hide a couple of 88s. Who's that over there? The 27th? He's one of those guys that catch a hell. No one's getting to the summit unless we silence those guns. You know how many caves they got up on that mountain? Those guns could be hidden anywhere up there. Artillery makes noise, Polanski. Just follow the sound and you'll find the guns. That's why the Marine Corps issued those ears, remember? Spread out and watch for ambush points. Miller, take two men and scout the area up ahead. You got point, Miller. Ah! Ambush! Take cover! Watch that guy! They're trying to break us! Anything. Good job, Miller. You're becoming a one-man slaughterhouse, ain't you? Dude, Hold your no. fire! Hold your fire! Marines up ahead! There's a fire in there! He's hit! Get out of there! Didn't stand a chance. Once the fuel tanks hit. Okay. Let's clear out this cave. Take it slow, man. Up here! Ah. 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 
We got him on the run now. See the guns? Look how they're dug into that rock! No wonder the Navy couldn't hit them! I'm Dizzle! Charge into that bunker. Cover me. I ain't delivering newspapers here. Get back. Move. Move. Rush the entrance. Let's go. Miller, check it out. We're right behind you. Clear the entrance! Come on, let's finish him! Son of a... You can't get rid of me that easy, Sergeant. <laughs> Besides, who's gonna keep Miller from fouling up the works, huh? Some view, ain't it? Best seat in the house. Okay, we've done our part, Marines. The summit's clear for the 27th. 
Well, the Japanese are gonna run out of island real soon at this rate. Two things we ain't short on around here, Pulaski. Islands and enemies. It still ain't over. I was a Virginia miner before the war started. I didn't have to join up. Mining was vital to the war effort, but it did it anyhow. 80th Infantry, General Patton's Blue Ridger boys. We'd been through France, and now we're looking to get into Germany. The end of the war was supposed to be in sight. Guess no one told the Germans that. They went on the offensive at the Battle of the Bulge. Our objective was to cut the supply line for the German advance at a place called Edelbrook, and we'd have to move fast to do it. Most everyone else was retreating, but not us. The 80th only moves forward, just like our motto says. way just to show the Germans how we fall back. We ain't getting through on this road. The crowds are throwing everything they got at us. Baker Company are pushing up with the tanks. You think they're gonna take this town without help from us, Tucker? Hell no, son! Then we're going in, starting with an assault on that house up ahead. We'll use the screen to flank their position. Go! Get off the road! Keep your heads down. Freezing my ass off here! Trout's better be waiting with a nice log fire in there. How about some hot lead? That warm you up, Benny? Watch those ruins. Germans in the auto! Get out of the auto! Ah! Push up. Storm the house. On me. Hey, do you hear that? Enemy vehicles heading this way. Maybe they're bringing up reinforcements. They know we're here? Won't take them long to find out. Hold fire until they're in range. Gibson, be ready on that MG42. Open fire!
got crowds in the yard to the north! They're hitting our left flank! Gibson, get some fire onto them from the bedroom! Tank, Sarge. Not with these pea shooters. All right, we keep moving. Head further into town and hope we run into our own tanks. Get down! Get your head down! Move, Tucker. Clear that doorway. Infantry in the building across the street. Get! Feet, Gibson. We're not done yet. We need to push up to secure the river crossings in the town center. Move forward with the tank. Panzer track! Second floor window! Get to cover! Spread out! Gunner! Target that window! Empty 
of them. The square secure. What's the news from the battalion, Sergeant? The Germans have given up the bridgehead. They're falling back across the Shur River. In poor order, too, I reckon. Look at all the gear they've left behind. Not bad for a day's work by the Blue Ridges. Yeah, well, the good news is we tied down at least two crowd divisions in this sector. That's two divisions that won't be reaching past all. Fourth Armored linked up with us at Edelbrook, and were we glad to see him. Now we're gonna be support for the push on to Baston. It was Christmas Day. The terrain between us and Baston was crawling with crowds. And I can't remember a day in my life when it was as cold as it was then. The Germans had thrown a ring of steel defense around Baston, but the fourth were the same as us. More of General Patton's boys. 
and together we were gonna prove that blood and guts mattered more than snow and steel. saying how much more damage this German counteroffensive could do. Damn, Jerry's people here didn't stand a chance. That's why we're here, soldier, to kick Jerry where it hurts. Our lead Shermans are taking fire from German guns up on that ridge. Are we gonna return fire? We keep going. Someone else is gonna take care of that. All tanks, prepare to stop on my command. We've got air support coming in to clear that ridge. Okay, halt. Batten down the hatches. Air Force are coming in now. Here they come! Ha, look at that! Crowds don't know what hit them! Thanks, boys. We'll finish off the rest. Fourth and 80th, move out at full speed. Still some German guns in action up top of that ridge. We're breaking off to engage. Rough terrain. Nothing this baby can't handle, though. Finish off any remaining Jerry's men. Pose them with the MG. That's what it's there for. We'll take it down the other side of the ridge and meet up with the rest of our guys. Watch out for any stray crowds. Jump ship body! Watch yourself! They have Panzer Shreks! Good too. And we'll just have to dig him back out again. Nothing this baby can't handle, remember? Targets inbound! German Panthers on our right and left flanks. Units on those flanks, peel off and engage. That's us! Move right and engage! Damn Crouch is trying to catch us in a pincer movement! Over to the 
Nice firing, son. Taking us back around to rejoin formation. Tiger tank dug into that building over there. That's it then. We tried crossing that bridge to get within range and even scratching it from a frontal attack. We're gonna get picked off like crows sitting on a telephone wire. Enemy tanks on the far riverbank. You got any spare rounds left? You know where to put them. Blast that enemy armor, soldier. If we don't knock them out now, we'll be meeting them much closer up when we get across that river. It'll be a Merry Christmas after all for our boys.
My mates in my old unit thought I'd gone daft when I volunteered for the six airborne. <laughs> I mean, who in their right mind goes jumping out of perfectly good airplanes into the middle of Jerry L territory, eh? But we've been sitting and taking it for years from Jerry, and, well, I suppose I just wanted to have a crack back at them. After D-Day, we thought we had them on the run, right up until they counterattacked in the Ardennes. The Yanks were bogged down in Bastogne, so we went in to give Jerry a fright and soften up their defences for the Yanks' 4th Armoured Division to break through. Oof, crawling around in the freezing dark in a town full of German troops. Well, it's just the thing to keep a bloke warm on a cold winter's night, isn't it? So what's the plan, Sarge? Jerry's been using Bastogne Town Square as a supply point for their armor units here. That armor's the reason why the Yanks are having such a hard time breaking through. Typical Jerry. Always well prepared. He's probably got enough ammo and fuel stacked up to keep him in business here for months, hasn't he? Not after we're through with him, Taylor. While the Yank assault keeps Jerry busy, we're gonna infiltrate in, take out their forward outpost, and then move to Town Square. Everyone got it? Right then, let's go. Davies and Rogers are already up ahead, scouting the area. What's the situation, Private? A small patrol around a farmhouse is in front of the windmill, sir. Three at the front, and at least one round the back. Anyone inside? Can't be sure, sir. Rogers has gone ahead looking for a route in. Okay, we're moving up to Rogers' position. When he gives a signal, we'll sneak past and jump the patrol. Get down! Damn it, now they know we're here! Push up to the windmill and engage them! Private Sharp, if you're that afraid of one little sniper, use a smoke grenade and get to cover! Yeah, cos we're not afraid of them, not at all, no. Looks like we spooked them! This area is clear, Sarge. Looks like we got them all. Private Sharp, get in there and see. There's a patrol moving in at the far end! Sharp, take that sniper's rifle and deal with that patrol! Dull conversation anyway. That should put the wind up and for a while, eh? From everything we've seen so far, I'm guessing they had considered someone infiltrating in from this direction. That means there might be more of them ahead waiting for us. Taylor, take Sharp and scout ahead for snipers and spotters. Keep your head down, Sharp. There's a sniper in that window to the northwest. These buggers usually work in pairs. Ah! I can't see another one. Keep your eyes peeled. You take them out and I'll signal Sarge. Clear. 
Right, let's go. Street is the only way for us to take. Let's go. No, wait a moment. No, there's two more up in that window to the northwest. They're probably in place to lure us out into the open so a sniper can pick us off. Looks like someone picked up a few tricks after Stalingrad. So it would seem. Sharp, we'll handle them. You find and kill that sniper. Down! German convoy. They must be heading to the supply point. So, what do we do, Sarge? Flag them down and ask for directions, eh? We follow them. If we cut through this cafe, maybe we can find a way onto the street. Private Davies, seal that door. We don't want anyone following us. Crafty Jerry so-and-so. He's got his route well covered. Oh. Sharp, we're not gonna last long in this situation. Get rid of that sniper! Oh. Convoy. We're close to the front lines now. The supply point can't be far off. Come on, the war's not gonna fight itself. Shift yourselves. Where do you suppose they're off to then? Ah, good question. Wait here, I'm gonna find out.
I want you to hold your fire until I give the order. Everything needs to go smoothly or we could end up with half the German army on our heads. You wait here. I'll send Taylor down to set the explosives on one of those tanks. We'll begin the attack after they're detonated. Remember, do not fire until I say otherwise. Taylor's signaling something. Ah, hell, there's something wrong with the detonators. Sharp, look lively. You'll have to hit them with a sniper round to set them off. Okay, Taylor is clear. Take this shot, Sharp. Right, this is it. Cooper, keep an eye out for enemy reinforcements. Private Sharp, keep us covered. Coming from the front, sir. Get on this! Come from. Sir, anti armor infantry spotted down the alley to the southeast. Private Sharp, get to the top floor and deal with that Jerry with the Panzer Shrek.
I think we've done enough damage for one day, lads. Let's leave something for the Yanks to do. Oh, my... Sharp, are you all right? Looks like that's the last of them. Friendlies inbound, sir. Looks like the 4th Armored Division. Patton, eh? Someone get on the line and tell them they took their damn time. Yeah, and tell them that we did the hard part for them. I didn't think we were going to make it out of there in one piece. I think we should be thanking old Sharp Shooter there for that. We'd done our bit at Bastoyne, and we're pulling out of a place called Burr to rendezvous there with our CO, Captain Randall. Yeah, trouble was, we didn't know it at the time, but the Germans were retreating in that direction as well. I mean, he was a capable bloke, Captain Randall, but even he was going to be in a spot above her here. So the captain's holed up at the church, pinned down, and we're going in to get him out, right? That's about the size of it, Taylor. Ha! You reckon we'll get medals? <laughs> Knowing the captain, we'll be lucky to get a handshake, lad. There's the church spire behind those buildings. The road looks clear. Hell! Jerry's a mine the road!
nicely done, lads. Let's get through here. Turn up. Door closes. Okay, Sarge! No problem, lads. Where's Captain Randall? He's back there, sir. He's taking a bullet in his leg, though, sir. Unfortunately not. We can't hold out forever up here, sir. Oh, so many Germans still in town. Understood, Sergeant. Just make sure we get the men out of here. Sir, there's no way me and the lads are leaving you behind. If you can't walk, then I'll find us some transport. We had to abandon two people nearby. Sir, they were nothing. No way we could try. I was a mechanic back in City Life, sir. I bet I could have to go in a jiffy. Glad to know you get for something, Taylor. Get on it, lad. If we could just hold Jerry until they come back, we might have a shot at the side of the Understood, sir. Sharp, keep your eyes peeled and shoot anything not in a British uniform. Germans to the north! Sharp, get on that engine. Come for attack!
The Yanks had reached the Rhine, the last barrier guarding the art of Germany. 
Their plan was to mount an amphibious assault across the river. But the Germans were dug in all along the opposite bank, ready to give them a pasting. Our job was to glide or attack the German side and raise hell among the defences there, giving the Yanks a chance to get across safely. This was going to be our first time on German soil, and unless we could help the Americans get across to join us, our stay was going to be a pretty short one. Jerry's waiting for the Rhine crossing, but he's not looking this way. All their guns would be pointing at the river. So we sneak in behind them, eh, Sarge? That's a ticket, lad. We take out their gun position so our boys can cross without Jerry shelling the blazes out of them. Couple of jellies on a checkpoint round the corner. Otherwise, it's all quiet, Sarge. It won't be for long. We're running late, and the artillery barrage is going to start any time now. Here it comes. The artillery boys keep better time than Big Ben. Right, oh, lads. Taylor, Sharp, take out that checkpoint. Take out the half track. Thank you. Good work, lads. Oh,
Knock out that 88, lads! Bloody big Jerry Rock here, son. You all know the drill. Kill the crews and put them out of action. Over the gap in that wall. On the double lights. Move it! There's a cherry ammo dump, Sarge. Top of the big house. Another 88 to the door! They're well dug in! It'll take a while to flank them! Sharp, sure, get up into that house and see if you can find anything useful. I need that gun position taken out. Sharp, sure, there's a jelly sniper rifle here. Reckon you can get a beat on that gun crew? Downstairs and get on the MG sharp! Move it! Get to cover! There's a big cherry column heading our way. Get to the ammo store and find us a Panzer Shrek!
the Yanks are across the Rhine and Jerry's on the run. First beers are on me as soon as we get to Berlin. Thanks to the Brits, our boys made it across the Rhine and into the German heartland. Everyone had Berlin in their sights. The Blue Ridgers were no different. But we ended up being deployed south into Austria. The last battle of our war would be at a place there called Braunen am Inn. Division HQ had reports of a last ditch concentration of German troops around the town and sent us in to investigate. We didn't know what the hell to expect. Braun and Am Inn was the birthplace of Adolf Hitler. Well, maybe the Germans had a better reason than that for wanting to hold on to the place. Battalion HQ reports no enemy activity on the North Bank. What's left beyond that is anyone's guess. That's gonna be our job. We scout out the town, deal with any remaining enemy positions, and report back to HQ. 
Our artillery and Air Force boys have already pounded the hell out of that place. Incoming! Get to cover! Get up there and use that MG! Wonder Intel thought the area was cleared. Those bastards have been dug in underground. It's on me!
That's why they're hell-bent on defending this ground. A B-2! We must be near the launch site. Artillery fire imminent, sir! Heads down, man! There's gonna be fireworks! Artillery supports clear the way! Head off before the crowds have time to recover! Talk ain't my strong point, but it sounds like they're about to launch some kind of rocket. Take out that MG! Don't let him escape! Get through those doors! We only have one shot at this, so make it a good one! Get a charge on that rocket! We got your back! Now go!
Italian hears about this. Private Lucas Gibson, Distinguished Service Cross. How'd you like the sound of that, soldier? Okinawa, the last link in the chain to Japan, and getting this war over and done with. It was the largest of the Ryuku Islands, and our first foothold on the Japanese home islands. When we invaded mainland Japan, it would be from Okinawa. We were fighting on Japanese soil for the first time. They had been desperate to stop us before, but now they were fanatical. The guys in Europe were lucky. Their war was almost over. Ours was about to reach its bloodiest moment. So, this is the Shuri line. What a dump. Yeah, Pulaski. This stands between us and the last Japanese position on the island. Real nice spot. Bunkers and mortars look dug in. We're gonna take that ridge, clearing every trench and every bunker as we go. Maybe we scared them off and they all belly stick themselves like they do. Let's go, man! Move! 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 Get a minute over here! Get down! Get out of here! They're dug in at each end of the trench, Sarge! Get out of here! Spread out and clear those okay. Get down! Get down! Keep me here! Don't die! 
Down the tunnel and secure that bunker. Oh. Yeah. Order's not going to secure, Sergeant. Good job, Miller. Here comes our Sherman! Well, look who decided to show. About time. Keep to the riverbed. Watch out for the enemy. About time! Get out of there! Enemy ahead, Sergeant! They're crawling out of the damn woodwork! Get down! Use the Sherman for cover!
deep into some bunkers! Two of them! Look out! Listen up. We move on the right-hand bunker first. Take the perimeter, and then we go in for the kill. Everyone ready? Taking fire! Find cover! Inside, guys! Smoke them out! Ooh. Fine work, men. Japanese defense line is split in two. You're gonna have to pull back or be overrun by our advance. Next stop, Tokyo. We're gonna ram it right down Tojo's throat, right, Captain? Well, the road's open, Polanski, but we're not at the end of the line just yet. How'd you like this, Polanski? A genuine Japanese fortune. Okinawa had been turned into a fortress island. At its center was Shuri Castle, an actual medieval royal fortress. Shuri was important to the Japanese military and psychologically, it was the key to the island's defenses and a symbol of Japanese power and pride. If we took it, so the thinking went, we'd take Okinawa. We'd do that and the door into Japan would be open at last. One more hard push and we'd finally be within sight of the end and the road to going home. Okay, Marines, that's Shuri Castle up ahead. Command wants us to take it, but since heavy resistance has been spotted inside, it goes by the numbers. You read me? How many in there, Sergeant? Could be a hundred in there, could be a thousand. Enough to keep us busy, that's for sure. Okay, let's move up! Okay, stand by, Marines. We got incoming artillery to soften them up. Nobody could. 
going to survive that. Okay, let's move up. I can't see anything moving. Smoke, Sergeant. We've been spotted. Get, get ready, Marines. Easy, men. Take it slow. Remember, by the number. Miller, I want you on point. Go forward and take a look. Get in there, Marines! Go, go, go! Watch those walls! 
Troops in the open! Open fire! Give them all you got! Take cover! The wall! Get behind the wall! Cover behind those low walls! They're charging us! Cut them down! Take cover! Get down! Oh. Incoming fire from that building! Okay, Marines, we're moving out. Get to the staircase, on me! Japanese troops in the window! All right, men. The castle courtyard is through these doors. We got birds on standby to flatten this place. We need to get in, finish the sweep, and get gone. No hiccups. Polanski, open her up. You know me, sir. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
The rest of you, keep your eyes open. Oh, nice place. How do you suppose it survived the bombing? You think any of the units made it this far, Sergeant? Negative. Something doesn't feel right, though. Look! Okay. The guns look heavily defended. Won't help them, though. Take them out. Take covering position! Run oh. have it, Marine! Oh. Oh. Radio, tell the skipper the Marines have taken Shuri Castle. Pulaski, Turner, Jackson, secure the area. Aye, aye, sir! Good job, Miller. Good job. So what now, Sergeant? We taking it all the way to Japan? That's the plan, Pulaski. All the way to Tojo's doorstep. <laughs> 